Hey guys, I just thought I'd do a quick video tonight. There we have Monka and Philippa having a quick teeth chattering match. Monka wants in the box and Philippa does not want to give up the box. They are two very, very strong headed skinnies and they don't get on great with each other. There's never any proper fighting, but they always argue and bicker. And then at the bottom you can see Fiona. She's recovered really, really well from her operation. Now a lot of people ask me why I got her spayed. I had to get her spayed because she had ovarian cysts. And due to the hormones, she started losing um, fur on her back. And she was also uncomfortable. So... I didn't get her spayed because I want to put her in with a male or want to get a male. Um, I got her spayed because I had to for health reason. And the same is true for Zoe. Um, she has lost hair on her back as well and um, she's got bigger ovarian cysts than um, Fiona actually. So we had to get her spayed as well. So it's, you know, it's not something I chose to do. It's something I had to do. Oi, you two skinnies, give it a rest. I'm trying to film here, hey? Naughty little things. So, that's our hospital wing at the moment. So that's just a one by two grit uh, deep area for Zoe while she recovers. So this is just a hospital wing. She will not be kept in there permanently. Um, I'm hoping that tomorrow morning after I clean the girls out or while I clean the girls out she goes over for a quick sniff and then maybe later on she can stay in with the rest for an hour. Um, but at night I will separate her again and I should say she got operated today and I only just got her home about half an hour ago. So I think she is sleeping so I probably won't wake her up because I want her to get plenty of rest, but I'll have a look later on if you can see her. So yeah, very pleased that everything went well with Zoe. Uh, it's excellent news. She actually needed a little less anesthetic than Fiona, which is good, and she came around really, really fast. The operation also was easier than on Fiona because of there was less fatty tissue. Um, so it's a lot leaner than Fiona. So the operation went really well. The scar is quite small. She came around really fast and she's been eating hay. And she also got some syringe food at the vets. So tonight she's going to get more medication to help her with her digestion. And tomorrow she's getting painkillers. And it's also an anti-inflammatory. Um, it's Metacam which is probably very well known to all guinea pig users, uh, guinea pig users? <laughs> to all guinea pig owners. Yeah, use a guinea pig pickup. Hello, use as a phone. Anywho, I'm really happy as you can hear because Zoe's operation went so well and I was really worried. So, um, yeah, and I'll probably give Zoe some critical care as well just because they love it, it's a bit of a treat and um, it will help her, I think, all around. There is Zoe's daughter, that's Cassandra, drinking. And there's not much going on in the cage, really. I think Philippa and Monka have settled their dispute with Snyder going into the, the house. Oh well. So that's about it. Anyway, I keep you updated on Zoe's progress and if I can catch her, um, I'll give that a go now and see if we can see her, but it's quite dark that side of the cage, so I can't make any promises. There's our little Zoe. Zoe is just munching on a bit of spinach. And it drives the other pigs mad that she has fresh stuff and 
they won't get dinner until 7 o'clock tonight, so they have to wait. Yes, you have to wait. Bonnie had a bath yesterday. Doesn't she just look precious now? Yeah, you can show your bum now. It's all beautiful. Mm -hmm. And she had a haircut as well because she was so disgusting at the back. That pig just doesn't clean herself. Anyway, so there's our brief Zoe. I'm sorry that but this is the best view I'm going to get of her. I don't want to disturb her too much. Well done Zoe. We are very very proud. Now I'll take the camera out of your face so you can get some sleep. Bye Zoe.